Hello, this is Chris Rowland for bestwindowsmobilearts.com and this is my review of Asphalt 4. So let's open it up. It runs in landscape and there we go, get a better view of it. Um, and well, I currently have the sound turned off because um, well, it's actually slightly hard to speak over it because it comes out very loud. It does have a rather fiddly little menu. Um, you can, if you want to click on anything, you can just click on it. But to scroll up and down, you have to use these little arrows. Uh, so let's go back to the top. Okay. You have instant play, career, multiplayer, or options. Those are the four main things you might want to use. In options, there's the ability to turn sound on and off, change the language. There is actually um, a whole bunch of languages that you can use. When I first installed this, I made the mistake of um, setting it to Spanish, but it was relatively easy to change it back. Um, you can turn the G-Sensor off, because this game is controlled... You can control it with the G-Sensor, so by tilting your phone like that, it turns left and right, which is very fun. Um, and also there's gameplay options, like... Like if you want to view the speed in kilometers or miles per hour, and also if it shows down the little takedown videos, which you will see in a moment. I'm going to keep sound off for now. Well, there is this multiplayer, which which you use to play online against other people, but I don't see anyone really using that very much, unless you know someone specifically who has this game and you say, hey, well, I want to play against you. But... I don't think that would be a widely used thing. Um, instant play takes you into a game straight away, but this is the career, where which is the main game, where you can choose your ride. Um, to start with, you have a Mini Cooper S, a nice little blue one, a Nissan GTR, and a BMW M3. Now, as you can notice, the, these cars are they do look quite nice. Um, they are not just little boxes, the graphics on this game are quite good. Although, on these menus there are tiny little buttons to go backwards and forwards either side. So, um, I'm going to go for the Nissan. Back. You can tune your cars, but most of these options are only actually available when you uh, complete different stages of the career. So, yeah, it's not even telling me what they are. Oh, tyres! I can change my tyres and also the colour of the car. Um, you can choose a lady. You can have Sandra, Michelle, or Julia. Apparently, they affect your game. Um, and you can also view your records, which I don't really have many of. And start a race. So, let's go ahead and play. Um, at the moment I can only go to Los Angeles because, well, I need to win more races to go anywhere else. Uh, and there are, in fact, different events. Uh, but only the first one is unlocked at the moment because I'm not very good at this. Um, there's a little note here saying perform illegal actions and you'll be live on TV. Um, which means a little helicopter will follow you around and show you as if you're on television. Now, as I said earlier, this game is controlled with G-Sensor like this, so I'm sorry if it's a bit hard to keep up with it. Um, but you can, in fact, also take out a hardware keyboard, uh, if you have one, or a D-pad, uh, and use that. So, well, you have to have four directional keys on your keypad. There you go. So I'll just go to menu, turn the sound on. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Oh, as you can see, turning left and right by tilting. Oh, okay. Uh, the graphics on this are rather nice. Um, some things like trees and cones which you can knock over do look a bit two-dimensional but that's 
expected. It's only a Windows Mobile game. <laughs> only Windows Mobile. Right. You can crash into other cars, and if you go up against the car and push it up against the uh, barriers, then you can get rather fun little video clips of you knocking the car over. I do end up crashing a lot. There, it tends to be... Um, it, it's not as sensitive as I'd like sometimes. Oh, there it goes. I've just knocked a car over and I now have a helicopter following me. But I'm in a tunnel so it can't see me. Coming up is a jump. Whee! Oh. Mm. The speed is meant to be controlled um, automatically. Well, you accelerate automatically. Um, the only problem with this is that it's it, near impossible to slow down. So, am I getting some more money? Now, if I use the NOS, that makes me go a lot quicker. There's the little helicopter I mentioned earlier. Floating around at the top of the screen. And police. On a bike. And I just knocked over a policeman. You can in fact destroy your own car on here um, if you crash into something at too high a speed. Sorry I'm not if I'm not talking too much in this section, it is just a very, very fun game, so I'm concentrating on it. And there, I was seventh. Um, I lost, so it's asking me if I want to retry. Tell it no. Oh well, I have no money. But um, that was it, it's incredibly fun to use. So I'm going to turn the sound off again, so I can, so you can hear me. There you go. Um, as I mentioned before, you can use hardware controls to actually control it as well, which might make it easier for some people, might not. Depends on your liking. Um, Asphalt 4 only costs £3.19, um, which is, for what you get, it's a fantastic price. Um, it is well worth buying, it is a brilliant game. I'm not normally into racing games, I only downloaded it because um, of doing this review, but now I have ended up playing this game a lot of the time because I find it so much fun. Um, as you see, I've not got through the career too much. Um, it is a bit tricky at times, but it's still incredibly fun game. So, thumbs up from me. Thank you. This is Chris Rollins. Goodbye.